OK, this is a second statement of financial position. Uh, we're going to consolidate the parent and subsidiary. Let's just quickly look at the details. The parent acquired 100% of the subsidiary on the 1st of January 2010 or something 10. Um, this is a follow on from the previous video. Uh, we have here retained earnings uh, at the date of acquisition. Uh, and then this is a year on now. We have another year's worth of uh, earnings, 31st of the 12th, the following year, 2010. And we can see we've earned more for in each uh, each company from or since the date of acquisition. So things to note is that the investment in the subsidiary by the parent, 20,000, is equal to the equity shares and the retained earnings at the date of acquisition. So those two figures should all add up, or those three th figures should all add up. Uh, and then, as I said, since then, we've earned another 10,000. So let's just quickly do the uh, consolidation. Uh, the investment in the subsidiary we ignore, we know this. Uh, we add the other assets, P plus S, parent plus subsidiary. So they are simply added across to give 97,000. Uh, again, this is a year on from the previous balance sheet in the previous video. So equity shares, this is just the parent, parent only. Uh, now, what retained earnings do we put in the consolidated balance sheet? Uh, we put in the retained earnings of the parent and we need to put in the retained earnings earned this year uh, from both the parent and subsidiary but not this 10,000 here this was earned by the subsidiary before it was owned by the parent so it's not included in our consolidation so it's just 50,000 here and then the post acquisition earnings we add both of these together so that's 20,000. Add those up. That doesn't look like it's correct. Missing a number there. There we go. So we now have the uh, total assets, 97, equaling the total equity and liabilities of 97. So it's a balance sheet. These two should balance. And they do. So that's good. Uh, let me just complete this. So the retained earnings at the date of acquisition, we only include the parent. And then the post acquisition earnings, uh, it's 100% ownership. There's no non-controlling interests. We'll look at that later. Uh, so it's parent and the subsidiary added together just a straight adding across uh, 10,000 plus 10,000 for the year gives 20,000 post acquisition earnings so this is all uh, post acquisition this is pre acquisition or let's say date of acquisition and then these two added together give the total equity plus liabilities so there you have it consolidated statement of financial position